In today's episode, let's check out Nirmalaya's Jasmine Dhoop Sticks. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ a show that helps you increase your incense quotient so if you are an incense enthusiast consider subscribing in these kind of episodes we first check out the packaging and fragrance of the incense then we talk a little about the incense world and we wrap up the episode with a quiz so you might want to stay here till the end so today what we have here is jasmine dhoop sticks and the pack uh, it's the jasmine is written in yellow the overall feel of the pack is that of yellow and white and gold and it says jasmine dhoop sticks and there's a dhoop uh, there's a dhoop drawn inside a circle inside a golden circle with a white base and it says made from flowers the yellow has a feel of flowers you know they, they have flowers made all over it so just check like that you see there's the flowers there the dhoop here in golden and this jasmine is written in yellow jasmine dhoop sticks so this also is a pyramidal shaped box and on the other side it says nirmalaya fragrances that and this is in combination of yellow and white sorry yellow and beige as the combination and you can see the branded tape here on both the sides where we open the box from where we open the box we have these branded tapes on the back side they say nirmalaya.com and it says nirmalaya meaning pure Nirmalaya made from flowers with Nirmalaya you add to the livelihood of the women who are dedicatedly preparing these incense sticks with Nirmalaya you protect the holy rivers from being polluted with Nirmalaya you get CSIR certified organic products with Nirmalaya you take home a little fragrance of purity and then they have the direction to use and then they have the three logos which says nirmalaya made from flowers toxic free 100% natural certified handmade made in india with love then it says based on technology from csir sai map uh for feedback right uh, then they have the mail id they have the content it says flowers natural essential oils and herbs and it says best before 24 months and manufactured in uh, delhi They also say that we have free one piece havan cup with this pack. This is the havan cup that has come with both of their dhoop packs. So this is what we have. The manufacturing was is of September twenty one. Quantity is twenty in number and MRP is one fifty, which I think I get got this for around one twenty seven or something. I'll be giving the link in the description. You check the uh, description box. and you check out the the current discount that they have on their website so uh, this is how the pack opens you have a dhoop holder a normal simple ceramic dhoop holder and the incense is in a clear pouch an unbranded clear pouch you get the fragrance of jasmine from the pack itself so that's how big the dhoop cone is It's almost as big as the width of my palm as my index finger It's as big as my index finger and it's normal thickness like any other dhoop dhoop stick and It's a bamboo less stick for people who don't want to use bamboo so if you do not want to go for incense sticks you can go for dhoop sticks you can go for cones you can go for havan cups so this is one of the options and the fragrance is really nice somehow they've got the fragrance very very right in all of their uh, you know incenses when you smell the the direct when you directly smell the cold incense the fragrance comes out very good whether it's their rose uh, rue rose incense cones the forest wood was wonderful 
this one waltz is very very good you do feel that this is really that true to nature fragrance feels very good you actually feel like you're smelling this it's very nice very nice the fragrance is very nice somehow i've noticed that in all of the incenses whether this incense or any other incense when you smell the cold incense you get a very nice pure fragrance of that uh, you know that fragrance that they've you used the essential oil or the fragrance that they've used of course it gets diluted in the smoke of the incense which is what we basically smell so i like this fragrance it's very true to nature is that nice jasmine you get that nice jasmine fragrance from here i like it and it has that woody undertone so you do feel that you're smelling the jasmine uh, you know like straight from the tree the straight from the plant it's nice it's nice now let's light up the incense and check out the fragrance of it it's nice i like this fragrance you know if you are well versed with the fragrance of jasmine incense if this is lit up somewhere you'll instantly know that this is a jasmine incense lit up somewhere it's nice even though it's mild it has toned down a lot in the smoke you know compared to what it smelt in the cold fragrance uh, the cold incense the smell is still good i liked it so for nirmalaya you know besides the mukhalla thing which i really i, I just didn't like that so but i like the rue rose cones i like their forest wood and uh, forest wood was uh, fine you know uh, when you smelled the cold incense the, the fragrance was amazing but upon lighting up that that uh, fragrance in the smoke was you know reduced to around 10% 20% so it it just smelled like any other regular incense but this is nice this regular so if you like that kind of mild fragrance of uh, jasmine which is like woody which has that woody undertone and it has that freshness of jasmine and uh, you know it's like the jasmine on top and you know wood on base wood in the base if you like that kind of fragrance you like this i have smelled this kind of jasmine fragrance in some other incense as well i can't really uh, remember which one but but it's nice if you like that mild kind of jasmine fragrance which is like not in your face but you will come to know if this is lit up somewhere you will know that this is a jasmine fragrance and uh, you know once this has burned through in a room i think you'll be able to get this fragrance for quite a long time because uh, this is the kind of fragrance that stays that lingers and so if you like jasmine fragrance you'll like it if you don't like jasmine fragrance then uh, you might want to stay away from this because this is a very typical jasmine fragrance and somehow this is not that kind of jasmine fragrance which is like uh, you know that that chameli ka tel kind of khushboo that jasmine oil that we get in the the, the the cheap quality jasmine oil that we get in the market that this is not that kind of fragrance you will feel uh, you know that you're smelling the flower on the plant so that's the kind of fragrance you have So if you like that kind of fragrance you like this. This is jasmine dhoop sticks from Nirmalaya. This is 20 sticks for 150 rupees or 125 127 whatever depending on the discount and you get one cone holder sorry one dhoop holder and one havan cup with this. So that's jasmine. Now in the last episode I'd ask you what is the one unique fact about the fragrance of jasmine so the answer is jasmine in perfumes does help release the sex hormones in the body and it boosts the libido so uh, you know it, it does uh, get you in that mood the jasmine fragrance in perfumes or in attar it, it does get you in that in that mood so that is the one unique fact about jasmine besides i'm sure there must be other unique facts as well but this is the one thing that i've been uh, able to find out there's this chemical which is used instead of the real jasmine thing uh, in perfumes where you get the fragrance of jasmine and because jasmine oil is expensive it's very expensive because you get jasmine absolute which has to be toned down to into you know into oil and um, it's very expensive so most people most perfume makers use 
Hedion for jasmine fragrance and uh, that also is able to evoke the same uh, you know feeling in you so jasmine is supposed to boost your libido because it's supposed to uh, you know help you secrete that sex sex hormone so that is the one unique fact about jasmine um jasmine has been a very it it has been a cult favorite in india and uh, the jasmine ka tel which is now of course a butt of joke amongst us uh used to be one of the you know uh, most prized possession of india it was one of the uh, things which was like uh, a big hit in the trade route of india and uh, the way they used to make uh, jasmine oil those days was quite different i'm not talking about jasmine attar which you know which was like uh, the essence of jasmine which used to be infused in the sandalwood oil that used to be jasmine uh attar jasmine essential oil or jasmine absolute is like you know extracting the uh, oil from jasmine through methods like uh, you know using carbon or using uh, steam uh the way they used to make jasmine oil back in the ancient days was they used to fill a terracotta pot half half way through with white sesame seeds and the other half used to be stuffed with fresh jasmine flowers and this used to be changed every 24 hours and of course it used to be you know the mouth used to be shut properly it uh, it used to be um, sealed with clay and it used to be changed every 24 hours un- until the time you got the desired intensity in those oil seeds the sesame oil seeds and then then those sesame oil seeds were expressed to get the jasmine oil that used to be so favorite those days it used to be uh, you know it had a cult following of its own um, it used to be a hit thing amongst the kings and queens and even the normal people they used a lot of jasmine oil those days and this is the kind of jasmine oil that we had back in those days and it was made in a very very uh, it was made in a very nice way and the fragrance came across as really good not the types that we have these days the chameli ka tel uh, you know it has actually it's it's a caricature of the original thing so that's the only thing i can say about that jasmine as the fragrance is quite famous in the tea as well so you know i i had once purchased this tea from a brand called tea box which is an uh, online uh, tea seller and the jasmine that they that i got from them the tea had amazing jasmine fragrance you i mean i actually felt that i'm i'm sipping jasmine flowers but i remember getting jasmine from vietnam and uh, the jasmine tea from vietnam and i'm sorry to say it was horrible it actually smelled like that ch- chameli ka tel i had one sip and i could not have it anymore but the jasmine green tea is quite famous in uh, you know vietnam as well but the i like the indian one better i like the one from tea box better so that's there so jasmine has had a cult following you know in india and it has been one of the most uh, well known flowers fragrances in india so that's the one thing i'd wanted you to know about jasmine the quiz for today is where is the manufacturing unit of oroshika incenses located so that's the quiz for today I hope you enjoyed today's episode and learned something from it. Uh if you think somebody else can learn something from it too, share it with them. If you liked it, give it a like. Check out the description box for the link of this incense and other incense related products as well as the Meri Pratham Sanskrit Pustaka, the Sanskrit alphabet book for kids. And till we meet again next, take very good care of yourself. Namaste.